Hello, my name is Steven Pinocken. Jason Kondikoff. Uh, Julian Flores. And we did Concrete Strength for our project. And uh, the way we started was meeting for the first time just to discuss what our project was about, um, how we were going to split up tasks, and what each person was good at. Uh, so I met that first time, split it up into task, and then we met again um, just the day before, two days, two days before um, our interim report, so we could start writing up and talking about code and how we were going to do that. After that, we met two times uh, today and the day before for our final report to submit and do the videos. And as far as what I did... I was helping um, write the report with Jason and also going with uh, Julian to assist him in the code and what he did. Uh, I mainly focused on working on the interim report, the literature research part of that, as well as the uh, exploratory data analysis, uh, picking uh, which data models we were going to uh, test out, which fitting tools we were going to test out. I also uh, communicated with them about what I think our best bet was and um, uh, I also helped a little bit with the code, assisted a bit with the code. Uh, I mainly focused on the code. I wrote most of the code. Uh, throughout the code, the one I mainly focused on was the interface. That was probably the most difficult because I didn't have a great ass the like knowledge of it. So I just did some some research on that, and I slightly helped in the research and literary research, which Jason did most of. Uh, as a whole, I believe our group didn't really have many hiccups and we worked well together. I think after the first time we met, we all just communicated well with, it, with each other and we even made a group chat to keep updates on everything. Now that we finished the project, we provided a quality interface and everything looks well. For the code aspect of this project, we simply started by importing the basic modules to be used throughout the project. From then, I read the CSV file to convert it into a data frame and display the first five rows of the data frame using the head function. From there, we used the info and describe function to give a certain, to give statistics about the data frame needed. And from there, we simply reformatted the database using the columns function. So when later using these variables, it'd be easier to type in. From there, we used the SNS heat map to display correlation between each variable. We displayed the correlation between each variable using the pair plot function as well to give a different visual representation. From there, we used the scatter plot SNS or sorry. From there, we used the seaborne scatter plot function to display a correlation between specific variables being concrete strength, cement, water, and age. We did another scatter plot displaying the correlation between concrete strength, fine aggregate, fly ash, and the super plastilizer. After that, we used uh, sklearn to get the train test splits of the data. From there, we imported certain modules to find the linear regression, lasso regression, and ridge regression of the, da of the data. Uh, after that, we displayed feature coefficients of each variable and their importance. After that, we then displayed a uh, visual representation of the linear regression, ridge regression, and lasso regression. After that, we made a decision tree regressor displaying all these. And then finally, for the fitting tools, we demonstrated the uh, random force regression. We then displayed a bar chart displaying the feature of importance between all the variables. Okay. Once we had all the models that we were possibly going to use, we then made a bar chart displaying the RMSE values of the different algorithms. From here, we determined that the random forest regressor was the one with the lowest R RSME value and therefore was the one we were going to use. For the actual uh, application of our interface from the previous code of the website given, we had to then just change the variable names and change certain values for it to work for our data. So after running our interface, uh, a separate window will pop up where we can enter in the values. So we started off with the first mixture. Uh, here's our values for there. And we got a predicted concrete strength of 18.9. 
mega pascals so we um entered in three or five different mixtures all giving us the predicted concrete strength it's the end